from Zachary. Professor Knowles, my 16-year-old little sister is starting to be influenced by her lefty friends in high school and is questioning why she should be a Republican. Republicans are, of course, mean and illogical. Luckily, she's open-minded and wants to chat with me about my conservative values. How should I begin my explanation of conservatism to my little sister? Help, it's not too late. Your little sister is in high school. She's being influenced by her lefty friends. That's good. That's the time for that. The time to believe lefty thoughts is when you're a teenager and you don't know anything. And then when you know things, then you'll move further to the right. I even went through a little bit of this phase when I was in high school because th these left-wing thoughts are appropriate to children who are both arrogant and uneducated. And then hopefully you can work on both of those things over time and you will move further to the right, I'm sure. I wouldn't shove it down her throat, though. I would... I would rather, I would take almost like a meta-political approach to this and ask her why she's so confident that these dummies are right and why these things that she's learning are right. Probably the curriculum that she's studying from is teaching her a lot of nonsense and the people don't know very much and it's an age where you're just insufferable. So I, I wouldn't give her too much grief for that. I would, I would point out that all of those people and all of these assumptions she's taking for granted are... They're on shaky ground. The the poem that comes to mind is, uh, A little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deep or taste not the Pyrian spring. There, shallow drafts intoxicate the brain. And drinking largely sobers us again. So uh, Bill Whittle talks about this. He says there's Island 120. And Island 120 this is around IQ of 120, you know. And it's people, it's like the New York Times editorial board, the New York Times op-ed columnists. They all have a kind of middling intelligence, and they are extremely left-wing. And people of kind of middle intelligence, they, they're like, yeah, man, they're totally right. Oh, man, I, David Brooks, or, yeah, the, Paul Krugman, he, they're, they're really speaking to me. And people who have lower intelligence or higher intelligence are both conservative. <laughs> so they're more conservative. It's a sandwich. But it's just people in the middle who, who don't realize how stupid they are, but they're smarter than your average Joe. They're the ones who are convinced of lefty stuff. I would, I would go to that. Uh, I, you know, and then you can tell her to read... I don't know, Edmund Burke or Bill Buckley or, or whatever. But uh, in the meantime, I would have her look around and say, are these people really so smart? Are these ideas that you're being told really so convincing or is it just fashionable? And uh, teenagers are contrarian and that might get to her.